It's Jackie, and I was thinking we haven't seen inside my bullet journal for a while, so I thought I'd show you my finished December pages. January's all done in there now, too, and I've set up my February pages, so I thought we'd take a look. Um, this is my Fodori. You guys have seen this before. Um, I'm going to return to journaling in this in February, so I just have like a blank notebook in for my journal. This is a Fabriano Echo Qua sketchbook, so I'm going to start that in February. Um, I will do a flip through of my... Um, I had one of these Jane Davenport things, pocket pages from Michaels. Um, I will have a flip through of my January journal up in the next couple of days. I just have to finish that up. Um, so looking at my bullet journal, let's take a look at December. So last time you saw these pages, um, they were all empty. Now they're all filled in. I've got all my highlights written in, and I use the Christmas whimsy colors, and I love how they turned out. I think they're really pretty. Um, my habit tracker is all filled in. And um, I don't really work on it every day. I probably work on it every two to three days. Um, probably every two days, mostly. And I'm finding it takes me about five minutes, ten minutes every two days. And that seems to be a good amount of time to fill it in. The weather's all done. And I don't know if I've shown you guys before the charts that I do. So I just like to track the temperature and see when it gets cold and when it gets hot and how much it fluctuates. I love those little graphs. Uh, I do those at the end of the month. All my dinner's filled in. Baking, I was smart to do two pages because I filled them. <laughs> Did a lot of baking in December. Um, my workout pages are all filled in, and I think I did a good job with those. Um, using the two pages was exactly enough, and I think they turned out great. Um, restaurants filled the page. Movies didn't quite fill the page. Um, my advent calendar, every day I put in, ranked everything out of five. Wrote in the names and the descriptions. Um, my L'Occitane advent calendar was all filled in. All my reviews of the products. These were both really fun calendars to do. I'd recommend either one of them. And then we get into January. So this was my January divider. I um, What I've been doing is just picking out a color palette at the start of the month and sticking with it. So with this one, the color palette I chose, you'll see it on my habit tracker. It was dark blue, teal, purple, and pink. And I did do a little bit of silver accent, so I just used some alphas to write my title. I used a Tim Holtz um, stencil along with some Distress Ink. I think Peacock, Feathers, and Dusty Concord were the ones I used. And then I just stamped some stars. I used some Recollections washi tape at the top and the bottom. Just put my month tab. And I think that's probably my favorite divider that I've done. And then you can see I just have, I'm not changing the format from month to month. I don't really have any desire to change it. So I've got my highlights written in. And then you can see the full color palette when you look at the habit tracker. Um, on the next page, I just stamped the word weather. And I've got my weather chart. And I couldn't think of anything to put on this page. So this page is left blank. Um, because I pulled out all my workout stuff, I'm tra tracking that all now in my Mambi Fitness Planner. And that was what normally went on this page. So this time I just left it blank and whatever. <laughs> Um, for dinner and for baking, I did alphas. I put some washi tape down here to separate them apart. And then I just used these Mambi bullet point stickers in pink and gold and teal. I think they look really pretty. And they didn't do much baking because I'm trying to eat healthy again this month. Um, restaurant meals, again, because we're eating healthy, we did fewer. And movies. I barely watched any mo movies this month, and I think it's because I've been playing more video games. I've been playing Dragon Quest Builders for the PS4, and I love it. It's so fun. And that was it for January. February I set up the same way. So that's my divider. I just used, again, I used Snap Alphas. I used some Dollarama stickers. And I just used, like, a little sprinkle stamp, I guess. It's a Dear Lizzie stamp um, to um, stamp the little red around the background. And again, I've just set it up in pinks and reds and purples for this month. Highlights, my habit tracker, tracking the same habits, um, the weather. Um, this month I've set myself a goal. I want to work on building my skills at sketching and watercoloring. So I think practice makes perfect. I'm going to attempt to do both of these things every day in the month of February. So I have this Inka Dinka Doo calendar stamp that's been in my stash forever. I've never used it. And so I finally got a chance to use it on this page. So I stamped it twice. And then I just used a square stamp with purple lines on it um, to stamp out the days that are not 
you know, days of the month. I use my Heidi Swap number stamps to just stamp the day of the month. So they're a little bit rustic looking and I think it's pretty cool. And then every day that I do a sketch, I will color in one of these boxes pink. And every day that I do some water coloring, I'll color one of these boxes. Maybe pink, maybe red. I haven't decided yet. I just used alphas up here and drew a little border around them. And for dinner and baking, I just used an eco line brush pen to uh, write those out. And I didn't make any changes to restaurant meals and movies watched. Um, so that's it for this page. And this is going to finish off the book. There's like three pages left, I think, at the end. Yeah, three pages and then a back page. And my tabs go all the way to the bottom. Whoops. So I kind of feel like this book is done. And at this point, I'm feeling like my monthly tracking has... I don't want to continue doing it the same way I'm doing it. Like the habit tracker was cool, but now I'm just seeing repeats of the same habits. I think I've got as much understanding out of it as I'm going to get. Um, there's a few things I still want to keep tracking. Like I like tracking the weather. I like tracking all the meals I've cooked. Um, but I think I'm going to find a different format now that this book is done. So I may put some totals in those back couple of pages, but um, whatever I do after February is going to be different from this. But this was definitely a worthwhile exercise, and I will show you a flip through of it at the end of the month. So that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching.